What is philosophy for children? Philosophy for children is an attempt both to introduce critical thinking and the subject of philosophy to high school students and to explore and develop natural interest in philosophical questions among younger children. In Europe, high school age students have traditionally had at least some philosophy on their curricula. The question in the United States is not whether teenagers are capable of learning philosophy, but how to introduce it and find teachers qualified to do so, as well as funding. While psychologist Jean Piaget set the paradigm that children are not able to think about thinking or engage in philosophy before about age 12, philosopher Gareth Matthews, 1929, argues in philosophy and the young child. 1980, that there was evidence of philosophical thought and speech in Piaget's own young subjects. Before then, Matthew Lipman, 1922, had introduced philosophy to middle school children in Montclair, New Jersey, with his 96-page philosophical novel for children, Harry Stottlemyre's Discovery, 1974. A philosophical novel for children is a story that raises philosophical issues in language that a child can understand. Both Matthews and Lipman have stressed the active nature of children's philosophical interests. By contrast, Norwegian author Jostein Garter's best-selling young adult novel Sophie's World. A novel about the history of philosophy, 1994, leads the reader through a series of studies about philosophy. Thus, philosophy for teenagers may be more didactic than the philosophy already taught to children. Contemporary journals devoted to teaching children philosophy include analytic teaching. The Community of Inquiry Journal, Critical and Creative Thinking, the Australasian Journal of Philosophy for Children. Questions, Philosophy for Young People, and Thinking, the Journal of Philosophy for Children. What is philosophy for children? Philosophy for children is an attempt both to introduce critical thinking and the subject of philosophy to high school students and to explore and develop natural interest in philosophical questions among younger children. In Europe, high school age students have traditionally had at least some philosophy on their curricula. The question in the United States is not whether teenagers are capable of learning philosophy, but how to introduce it and find teachers qualified to do so, as well as funding. While psychologist Jean Piaget set the paradigm that children are not able to think about thinking or Engage in philosophy before about age 12, philosopher Gareth Matthews, 1929, argues in philosophy and the young child. 1980, that there was evidence of philosophical thought and speech in Piaget's own young subjects. Before then, Matthew Lipman, 1922, had introduced philosophy to middle school children in Montclair. New Jersey, with his 96-page philosophical novel for children, Harry Stottlemyre's Discovery, 1974. 
A philosophical novel for children is a story that raises philosophical issues in language that a child can understand. Both Matthews and Lipman have stressed the active nature of children's philosophical interests. By contrast, Norwegian author Jostein Garter's best-selling young adult novel Sophie's World. A novel about the history of philosophy, 1994, leads the reader through a series of studies about philosophy. Thus, philosophy for teenagers may be more didactic than the philosophy already taught to children. Contemporary journals devoted to teaching children philosophy include analytic teaching. The Community of Inquiry Journal, Critical and Creative Thinking, the Australasian Journal of Philosophy for Children. Questions, Philosophy for Young People, and Thinking, the Journal of Philosophy for Children. What is philosophy of film? Film criticism, both scholarly and popular, has a history as long as visual media. But philosophy of film, as a contemporary subfield in aesthetics. Or philosophy of art, dates from the 1970s. As in other fields, the philosophy of film is similar to the theory of film undertaken by specialists in film or film studies. There are philosophers who, like film theorists and critics, specifically study film as a self-contained medium. Philosophical cultural critics who use film as evidence of broad beliefs in contemporary culture. And philosophers who turn to film for examples in ethics, aesthetics. Political philosophy, feminism, and many other philosophical interests and subfields. As well, some films directly raise philosophical questions such as the questions about what is real in the matrix 1999 and its sequels and the nature of memory and identity raised by memento 2000 and the children's film the never-ending story 1984 there are moreover films that are directly about philosophy and philosophers such as the Easter. 2004, which is about Martin Heidegger, 1889-1976. Contemporary sources on philosophy and film include, Richard Allen and Murray Smith, editors. Film Theory and Philosophy, 1997, Gregory Curry, Image and Mind, Film, Philosophy and Cognitive Science. 1995, and Cynthia A. Freeland and Thomas E. Wartenberg, Philosophy and Film, 1995. The online journal Film Philosophy, a philosophical review of film studies and World Cinema is an ongoing source of contemporary work and additional sources. What is philosophy of film? Film criticism, both scholarly and popular, has a history as long as visual media. But philosophy of film, as a contemporary subfield in aesthetics. Or philosophy of art, dates from the 1970s. As in other fields, the philosophy of film is similar to the 
theory of film undertaken by specialists in film or film studies. There are philosophers who, like film theorists and critics, specifically study film as a self-contained medium. Philosophical cultural critics who use film as evidence of broad beliefs in contemporary culture. And philosophers who turn to film for examples in ethics, aesthetics. Political philosophy, feminism, and many other philosophical interests and subfields. As well, some films directly raise philosophical questions. Such as the questions about what is real in The Matrix, 1999, and its sequels, and the nature of memory and identity raised by Memento. 2000, and the children's film The Never Ending Story, 1984. There are, moreover, films that are directly about philosophy and philosophers such as the Easter. 2004, which is about Martin Heidegger, 1889-1976. Contemporary sources on philosophy and film include, Richard Allen and Murray Smith, editors. Film Theory and Philosophy, 1997, Gregory Curry, Image and Mind, Film, Philosophy and Cognitive Science. 1995, and Cynthia A. Freeland and Thomas E. Wartenberg, Philosophy and Film, 1995. The online journal Film Philosophy, a philosophical review of film studies and World Cinema is an ongoing source of contemporary work and additional sources. What is Mysterianism? Mysterianism is the view that it is impossible for us to explain consciousness. This perspective, sometimes held by philosophers, is now called the New Mysterianism. And is based on the writings of Colin McGinn, 1950, such as The Problem of Consciousness. 1991, The Mysterious Flame, 1999, and Consciousness and Its Objects, 2004. The name New Mr. Ians was bestowed by Owen Flanagan, 1949, in his Science of the Mind. 1991, and it was based on the rock group Question Mark and the Mr. Ians. Past philosophers such as Gottfried Leibniz, 1646-1716. Similarly believed that the emergence of consciousness could not be fully understood by conscious beings. What is striking about the new Mr. Ianism, though, is that it cropped up after almost a century of rigorous philosophical attempts to provide theories of consciousness and cognition. It is different from claiming, as Jerry Fodor, 1935, does, that we do not now know how the mind is connected to the body because it claims that we can't ever know that, or even what the mind itself is. Some aspects of this thought are reminiscent of skepticism. In the ancient world and in the 16th century, What is Mysterianism? Mysterianism is the view that it is impossible for us to explain consciousness. This perspective, sometimes held by philosophers, is now called the New Mysterianism. 
and is based on the writings of Colin McGinn, 1950, such as The Problem of Consciousness. 1991, The Mysterious Flame, 1999, and Consciousness and Its Objects, 2004. The name New Mr. Eons was bestowed by Owen Flanagan, 1949, in his Science of the Mind. 1991, and it was based on the rock group Question Mark and the Mr. Eons. Past philosophers such as Gottfried Leibniz, 1646-1716. Similarly believed that the emergence of consciousness could not be fully understood by conscious beings. What is striking about the new Mr. Eonism, though, is that it cropped up after almost a century of rigorous philosophical attempts to provide theories of consciousness and cognition. It is different from claiming, as Jerry Fodor, 1935, does, that we do not now know how the mind is connected to the body because it claims that we can't ever know that, or even what the mind itself is. Some aspects of this thought are reminiscent of skepticism. In the ancient world and in the 16th century. What are some of the main themes in philosophy of biology? Philosophers of biology are interested in how biological explanations differ in form from explanations in the other sciences regarding whether the behavior of living things can be predicted and in how environment, genetics, and processes of development interact to result in organisms. They are also interested in evolutionary theory. Useful texts in philosophy of biology include, Alexander Rosenberg, Structure of Biological Science. 1985, Elliot Sober, The Nature of Selection, 1984, and Michael Ruse, Philosophy of Biology, 1973. Most contemporary philosophers of biology rely on Ernst Mayer's The Growth of Biological Thought. Diversity, Evolution, and Inheritance. 1982, and Towards a New Philosophy of Biology, Observations of an Evolutionist, 1988. Additional thought by biologists have also resulted in new perspectives on biology that include work by Patrick Battison, Richard Dawkins, Jared Diamond, Stephen Jay Gould, Richard Lewontin, John Maynard Smith, and Edward O. Wilson. Also, Evolutionary biology has inspired new philosophical systems of thought for example, by Daniel Dennett. What is Julia Kristeva's idea of the object and the nature of women? Chris Tava has emphasized the rejection of mothers by both male and female children due to male-dominated cultural patterns that render the mother herself abject, which is to say, totally other, disgusting, and monstrous. Chris Tava thinks that the solution to this problem requires a rediscovery and healing of narcissism in women's psyches and an acceptance of adult love between women. However, Chris Tava rejects the label woman as a universal term, and has refused to define women. 
she apparently believes that every woman is fundamentally different in how she is a woman or what being a woman means. As she wrote, it is there, in the analysis of her difficult relation to her mother and to her own difference from everybody else. Men and women, that a woman encounters the enigma of the feminine. I favor an understanding of femininity that would have as many feminines as there are women. Christova's main theoretical writings are, about Chinese women, 1977, Desire in Language. A Semiotic Approach to Literature and Art, 1980, Powers of Horror, An Essay on Abjection. 1982, Revolution in Poetic Language, 1984, and New Maladies of the Soul, 1995. What is French Feminism? French feminism is a school of thought named by feminists outside France to refer to work mainly proffered by Luce Iragaray. 1932, Helen Sixus, 1937, and Julia Kristeva, 1941. But none of these three is originally from France. And from time to time each has denied being a feminist. What Ira Gary, Sixus, and Chris Tava all share is that their work is based on considerations of philosophical and psychoanalytic texts. They all assume that to improve the situation of women, fundamental psychological structures need to be revised. That is, they are working within the tradition of structuralism. By comparison, there is another group of French feminists whose work is more sociological and activist than theoretical. Known as French materialist feminists, they address the situation of women by attempting to change society through political activism and work in the social sciences. Key figures are Simon de Beauvoir, 1908-1986, Christine Delphi, 1941, Monique Wittig, 1935-2003, and Colette Guillaumin, 1934. Some of their theoretical work, which has been especially influential in the Communist Revolutionary League, describes the ways in which the free labor of women in the family supports capitalism. What is philosophy for children? Philosophy for children is an attempt both to introduce critical thinking and the subject of philosophy to high school students and to explore and develop natural interest in philosophical questions among younger children. In Europe, high school age students have traditionally had at least some philosophy on their curricula. The question in the United States is not whether teenagers are capable of learning philosophy but how to introduce it and find teachers qualified to do so, as well as funding. While psychologist Jean Piaget set the paradigm that children are not able to think about thinking or engage in philosophy before about age 12, philosopher Gareth Matthews, 1929, argues in philosophy and the young child. 1980 
that there was evidence of philosophical thought and speech in Piaget's own young subjects. Before then, Matthew Lipman, 1922, had introduced philosophy to middle school children in Montclair. New Jersey, with his 96-page philosophical novel for children, Harry Stottlemyre's Discovery, 1974. A philosophical novel for children is a story that raises philosophical issues in language that a child can understand. Both Matthews and Lipman have stressed the active nature of children's philosophical interests. By contrast, Norwegian author Jostein Garter's best-selling young adult novel Sophie's World a novel about the history of philosophy, 1994, leads the reader through a series of studies about philosophy. Thus, philosophy for teenagers may be more didactic than the philosophy already taught to children. Contemporary journals devoted to teaching children philosophy include analytic teaching. The Community of Inquiry Journal Critical and Creative Thinking, the Australasian Journal of Philosophy for Children. Questions, Philosophy for Young People, and Thinking, the Journal of Philosophy for Children. How did environmental philosophy get started? Popular environmentalism began in the 1960s and 1970s when marine biologist Rachel Carson 1907 to 1964 traced the movement of toxic pesticides specifically DDT through the food chain in her classic book Silent Spring 1962 Intellectually this led to a rediscovery of ecologist and forester Aldo Leopold's, 1887-1948, land ethic. A Sand County Almanac, 1949, and the thought of John Muir, 1838-1914, founder of the Sierra Club. Leopold had written, that land is a community is the basic concept of ecology. But that land is to be loved and respected is an extension of ethics. This moral tone set the basic philosophical orientation toward environmentalism as a moral-slash-ethical matter. The Norwegian philosopher Arne Nys, 1912, was inspired by his encounter with the Himalayan. Sherpa's reverence for their great mountains when his guides would not take him to sacred places. Nice developed an important distinction between deep ecology and shallow ecology. Who is Ruth Barkin Marcus? Ruth Barkin Marcus, 1921 was educated at Yale, received a Guggenheim Fellowship in 1952, and was a founding chair of the philosophy department at the University of Illinois at Chicago. After working as a professor at Northwestern University, she was Halleck Professor of Philosophy at Yale. University from 1973 to 1991. She worked in the formal subjects of quantification theory and modal logic. Sometimes in disagreement with W. V. Oquine, 1908-2000. One of her most striking achievements was an early formulation of the new causal theory of reference, made famous by Hilary Putnam, 1926, 
and Saul Kripke, 1940. The causal theory of reference held that words for things have a history from the first time someone used a specific word to stand for a specific object or idea. For example, we call apples apples because that word was the first at some time. In some specific place, to be used to name the fruit. As proponents of the causal theory of reference put it, apples were baptized apples. Marcus groundbreaking journal articles are collected in modalities, philosophical essays, 1993. She received the American Philosophical Association Quinn Prize for service to the profession in 2007. What is Mysterianism? Mysterianism is the view that it is impossible for us to explain consciousness. This perspective, sometimes held by philosophers, is now called the new Mysterianism. And is based on the writings of Colin McGinn, 1950, such as The Problem of Consciousness. 1991, The Mysterious Flame, 1999, and Consciousness and Its Objects, 2004. The name New Mr. Ians was bestowed by Owen Flanagan, 1949, in his Science of the Mind. 1991, and it was based on the rock group Question Mark and the Mr. Ians. Past philosophers such as Gottfried Leibniz, 1646-1716. Similarly believed that the emergence of consciousness could not be fully understood by conscious beings. What is striking about the new Mr. Ianism, though, is that it cropped up after almost a century of rigorous philosophical attempts to provide theories of consciousness and cognition. It is different from claiming, as Jerry Fodor, 1935, does, that we do not now know how the mind is connected to the body because it claims that we can't ever know that, or even what the mind itself is. Some aspects of this thought are reminiscent of skepticism. In the ancient world and in the 16th century, What are some of Peter Singer's views? Singer, 1946, has at times argued that the lives of healthy adult animals are of greater value than those of severely impaired human infants. Such views have met with great controversy. When Singer was hired by Princeton University in 1999, there were dramatic public demonstrations by and for disabled people. And the university administration hired armed guards to protect him. Singer, proceeding on utilitarian grounds, does not believe that animals have rights. But rather that their well being is intrinsically good and their pain and destruction intrinsically bad. Singer is not a deep ecologist, because he does not attribute intrinsic value to the well being of mountains, rivers, or plants, or whatever is not sentient. Singer has claimed that the privileging of human life and well being over that of animals is speciesism which, in principle, 
is no different from racism and sexism. How is environmentalism related to feminism? Feminists have addressed the exploitation of natural environments as part of overall cultural misogyny insofar as the earth is at least metaphorically female. Also, some of the exploitation of animals is centered on female animals. Chris Cuomo explores this last thesis and characterizes living beings in an Interesting way as having dynamic charm in feminism and ecological communities, 2002. How is environmentalism related to racial and international studies? Theorists of racial discrimination such as Laura Westra and Billy Lawson have identified environmental racisms. Minorities, who live in poor neighborhoods, are more vulnerable to having toxic dump sites in their immediate environments, for example. Some indigenous philosophers have criticized the whole Western technological project. By contrast, international scholars have criticized Western environmentalists for assuming that development in poor countries for the improvement of human life is less important than the preservation of nature. What are some results of experimental philosophy? Thus far, Bertrand Russell's 1872 to 1970 theory of descriptions has failed. At least one intuitive test. Respondents are inclined to blame people for what they do unintentionally. Which, according to philosophers, they should not. Free will is also held to be compatible with determinism which philosophers have assumed not to be the case. What religious issues are involved in environmental thought, pro and con? Some of the critical perspective derives from a Christian view embedded in Western political philosophy that God gave the earth and everything on it to humankind to rule over for our use. Only humans have the spark of divinity that justifies intrinsic value. Nonetheless, many religious groups have proclaimed an Obligation of benevolent stewardship over parts of the earth. What is the distinction between deep and shallow ecology? According to Arnice, 1912, Shallow ecology is concern of affluent Westerners for their own clean air and water. Abundant resources, and beautiful scenery. Deep ecology, by contrast, is based on biospheric egalitarianism. Or the inherent value to all natural beings of their own existence, shared equally by them all. Nice envisioned the world as a total field or biospherical net in 
which individual organisms are related to the whole of their environments. As individuals, human beings, for example, are mere knots in the net and ought to forego. Some of their preoccupation with their own individual existence and selfish interests. What is experimental philosophy? It is a very new philosophical approach that aims to use empirical information to back up the ordinary intuitions to which philosophers refer. People are given philosophical problems or solutions to them and asked if they agree with the philosopher's answer. Experimental philosophy has been applied to philosophy of language, philosophy of action, and intuitions that free will is not compatible with determinism. What has been important in second-wave feminist political philosophy? The concept of patriarchy, or rule by fathers, throughout human history sparked much social and textual analysis. Which was brought to theoretical completion by Carol Pateman in The Sexual Contract, 1988. Pateman argued that when modern social contract theory was constructed by Thomas Hobbes, 1588-1679, and John Locke, 1632-1704, women were left out of the political equation and relegated to private life. Iris Young, 1949-2006, a professor of philosophy at the University of Chicago addressed the connection between female social roles and political structures in Justice and the Politics of Difference, 1990, and Inclusion and Democracy, 2000. Young also addressed women's disempowered bodily comportment in her 1980 essay Throwing Like a Girl, included in a book by the same name in 1990. In addition, feminist philosophers have welcomed and discussed the work of University of Michigan Law School professor Catherine McKinnon. What are the main themes and influences in philosophy of technology? Most of the writing is on the progressive slash environmentalist slash feminist slash postmodern side of contemporary philosophy. While not anti technology per se, there is a deep suspicion of technology as a force in its own right that stems from Martin Heidegger's 1889 to 1976, The Question Concerning Technology. By contrast, more optimistic views of technology stem from the writings of John Dewey, 1859-1952. Key issues are, whether technology can be controlled independently of radical economic and political changes, whether technology can correct its own excesses and the roles played by technology in the history of science. Contemporary books of interest include, Michael Adas, Machines as the Measure of Men, Science, Technology, and Ideologies of Western Dominance, 1990, Eric Higgs Anthology Technology and the Good Life, 
2000, and Hans Achter Hughes, American Philosophy of Technology, 2001. How did feminist epistemology develop? Nancy Kodoro, 1944, showed in The Reproduction of Mothering, 1978. How social roles within the nuclear family are reproduced socially by girls. Identifying with their mothers and boys becoming unlike their mothers. Recognition of the social construction of female gender resulted in. Broad rejection of biological determinism of women's traditional roles. This cleared the way for feminists to seek social causes for the disadvantageous status of women. Carol Gilligan's, 1936, in a different voice, 1982, criticized Lawrence Kohlberg's account of moral development because it left out the relational nature of girls' moral perceptions. In contrast to the more abstract and individualistic nature of boys' moral development. The idea that women had relational identities led to an ethics of care. Most notably based on Stanford University psychologist Nell Nodding's Caring, 1982 which was foundational for the work of Sandra Lee Bartka in Femininity and Domination. 1990, and Eva Kitte's Love's Labor, Essays on Women, Equality, and Dependence, 1999. Genevieve Lloyd's The Man of Reason, Male and Female in Western Philosophy, 1984. Sparked a view that philosophy itself had been identified with distinctively masculine capabilities of reason to the intellectual as well as literal exclusion of women. These perspectives led to the articulation of feminist epistemology. Stressing connected, rather than individual knowers, or people who learn and come to know things and the role of emotion and action in knowledge. The collection of papers in Linda Alcoff, 1955, and Elizabeth Potter's, 1947. Edited work Feminist Epistemologies, 1993, relates some of this groundbreaking work to traditional epistemology. An additional development of feminist epistemology is feminist philosophy of science. What general philosophical problems does environmentalism pose? In more traditional philosophical terms, there are ontological and metaphysical issues involved in what counts as a unit in environmentalism. It is important to define the unit because that defines the subject matter theoretically and makes it possible to keep track of what should be preserved, in practical terms. What is philosophy of film? Film criticism, both scholarly and popular, has a history as long as visual media. But philosophy of film, as a contemporary subfield in aesthetics, or philosophy of art, dates from the 1970s. As in other fields, the philosophy of film is similar to the 
Theory of film undertaken by specialists in film or film studies. There are philosophers who, like film theorists and critics, specifically study film as a self-contained medium. Philosophical cultural critics who use film as evidence of broad beliefs in contemporary culture. And philosophers who turn to film for examples in ethics, aesthetics. Political philosophy, feminism, and many other philosophical interests and subfields. As well, some films directly raise philosophical questions. Such as the questions about what is real in The Matrix, 1999, and its sequels, and the nature of memory and identity raised by Memento. 2000, and the children's film The Never Ending Story, 1984. There are, moreover, films that are directly about philosophy and philosophers such as the Easter. 2004, which is about Martin Heidegger, 1889-1976. Contemporary sources on philosophy and film include, Richard Allen and Murray Smith, editors. Film Theory and Philosophy, 1997, Gregory Curry, Image and Mind, Film, Philosophy and Cognitive Science. 1995, and Cynthia A. Freeland and Thomas E. Wartenberg, Philosophy and Film, 1995. The online journal Film Philosophy, a philosophical review of film studies and World Cinema is an ongoing source of contemporary work and additional sources. How have second-wave feminists addressed gender? They have criticized the social norm of compulsive heterosexuality. On the grounds that the human sex gender system is a system of power that benefits men at the expense of women. Some of this work has consisted of the deconstruction of gender as natural and a valorization of love between women. Judith Butler, the professor of rhetoric and comparative literature at the University of California at Berkeley, has challenged heteronormativity in Antigone's claim, kinship between life and death. 2000, and Gender Trouble, Feminism and the Subversion of Identity, 1999. Butler is famous for her deconstruction of gender into performances of gender. Sarah Lucia Hoagland, in Lesbian Ethics, Toward a New Value, 1988, and Marilyn Fry in The Politics of Reality. Essays in Feminist Theory, 1983, developed foundational views of this perspective. What is Daniel C. Dennett's philosophy of biology? Dennett, 1942, engages evolutionary theory by asking the question, skyhooks or cranes? Skyhooks are unexplained leaps from one stage of development to the next. Whereas cranes are ways of understanding a later stage based on the design of an earlier one. Dennett has argued that consciousness, the contents of consciousness, and even the products of consciousness, such as Shakespeare's plays, can be naturalistically understood in the same way that physical evolution is understandable. 
neural systems create multiple drafts of the same thing so that the brain itself is a sort of dung heap in which the larvae of other people's ideas renew themselves. Dennett is also a proponent of the doctrine of memes. Whereby certain patterns of behavior are products of evolution that are physically inherited. His extreme materialism has attracted many critics, as well as supporters. What is feminist philosophy of science? Feminist philosophy of science consists of analyses of scientific methodology and standards for truth. Its focus has been on the ways that the idea of objectivity have excluded knowledge of importance to women. Are all philosophical feminists women? By no means. A number of male philosophers have endeavored to both learn and support feminism and include feminist subjects in their own more traditional work. These men have published such books as Philosophical Explorations in Light of Feminism, 1992. Edited by Larry May and Robert Strykwerda, Men Doing Feminism, 1998, edited by Tom Digby, and Michael A. Sloat's The Ethics of Care and Empathy, 2007. There were women's separatist social movements in the 1970s. But this has never been a viable option in academia. The radical feminist philosopher of religion Mary Daly, 1936, who taught at Boston College for 33 years, was forced to retire in 1999 for barring men from some of her classes. Daly was always on thin ice at this Jesuit institution. Especially after the publication of her first book, The Church and the Second Sex, 1968. Daly's work is about how men have appropriated the roles and power of women in religion. Particularly in Catholic ritual. Philosophical feminism has evinced strong support for lesbian feminism on the grounds that lesbians have been oppressed in society and that lesbians may recognize the personhood of women more easily than men. Nevertheless, freedom of sexual preference entails that heterosexuality remains a respected preference. Just as freedom of choice in abortion has not led feminists to invalidate on moral or political grounds, pregnancy and childbirth, on motherhood, for example, Sarah Ruddick's maternal thinking, toward a politics of peace, 1990, shows how childcare develops distinctive ways of thinking. Although childbirth and rearing is not limited to heterosexual women. Much of French feminist writing assumes strong male-female sexual differences. Who is Daniel C? Dennett? Daniel C. Dennett, 1942, is an American philosopher of mind and science. 
He is professor of philosophy at Tufts University and co-director of the Center for Cognitive Studies there. He has been influential in combining cognitive science and evolutionary theory in philosophy of biology. Most notably in these works, Darwin's Dangerous Idea, Evolution and the Meanings of Life, 1996. Kinds of Minds, Towards an Understanding of Consciousness, 1997, Brain Children, Essays on Designing Minds. Representation and Mind, 1998, Freedom Evolves, 2003, Sweet Dreams, Philosophical Obstacles to a Science of Consciousness. 2005, and Breaking the Spell, Religion as a Natural Phenomenon, 2006. Dennett is also a supporter of the Brights Movement. What do critics of the deep ecological and animal value views claim? William F. Baxter, a law professor who passed away in 1998, argued in People or Penguins. The Case for Maximum Pollution, 1974, that the cost of a pollution-free society would be harmful to humans. He assumed that humanism requires that humans are what matter above all else. Baxter expressed a general critical view of environmentalism held by human beings who do not believe that animals have intrinsic worth or rights equal to those of humans. What is Catherine McKinnon's contribution to second-wave feminist political philosophy? In the 1970s Catherine McKinnon, 1946, began to argue that sexual harassment is a form of sexual discrimination. Outlawed by the 1964 Civil Rights Act. McKinnon and Andrea Dworkin also developed legal theory to outlaw pornography. The U.S. Supreme Court ruled against sexual harassment in 1986, largely based on McKinnon's work. And the Supreme Court of Canada has partly accepted her arguments against pornography. McKinnon's books include, In Harm's Way, the Pornography Civil Rights Hearings. Edited and introduced with Andrea Dworkin, 1997, Toward a Feminist Theory of the State, 1989. Pornography and Civil Rights, A New Day for Women's Equality, with Andrea Dworkin, 1988. Organizing Against Pornography, 1988. Feminism Unmodified, Discourses on Life and Law, 1987 And Sexual Harassment of Working Women, A Case of Sex Discrimination, with Thomas I. Emerson, 1979 What is the Bright's Movement? The Bright's movement is committed to promoting public understanding and acknowledgement of the naturalistic worldview. Chicago biology teacher Paul Geisert and Manga Futrell. An educator who is also a board of directors member of the American Humanist Association and a former president of atheists and other freethinkers. 
founded it in 2003. Futrell defined a bright as an individual whose worldview is naturalistic, free from supernatural and mystical elements. The Bright's Movement motto is illuminating and elevating the naturalistic worldview. The organization has three major aims, promote public awareness of the naturalistic worldview. Achieve recognition that individuals who hold this worldview can behave in principled ways in important civic matters. And educate all members of society to recognize and accept the participation of brights. What is the philosophy of biology? Strictly speaking, philosophy of biology is not new because it has been part of philosophy since Aristotle, 384-322b. C. However, recent thought about how living systems are different from the inert subject matter of physics and chemistry have resulted in new philosophies of biology as a distinct theoretical slash philosophical subject. Moreover, social controversies, such as popular debates about creationism and evolution, and beliefs in individual self-determination versus genetic determinism, have injected new vitality into older issues in philosophy of biology. What is philosophy of technology? Ideas of technology go back to Plato, c. 428 c. 348 BCE, and Aristotle, 384 to 322 BCE, who spoke of techni or knowledge of art and craft, which included arithmetic and medicine. Such knowledge understands itself, according to universals and causes. It can be taught and is distinct from physis, or nature. Contemporary philosophy of technology is a multidisciplinary field dedicated to studying the cultural effects and causes of technology. Both historically and in its emergent forms. The American Philosophical Association publishes a newsletter on philosophy and computers, and there are academic journals such as Ends and Means. Net Future Technology and Human Responsibility, and Techni, Research in Philosophy and Technology. What has been Arnini's philosophical influence? Nice, 1912, broadest influence has probably been from his overall sense that there are spiritual, if not religious, values in our proper connection with natural environments. People should respect and care for such environments as an elevated activity. Many contemporary environmentalists, theoretical and practical, share Nice's intuition that human beings benefit from contact with nature and animals in deeply nourishing ways. That cannot be duplicated by commercial forms of entertainment, or even human interaction. Acknowledgement of such benefits has led virtue ethicists such as Thomas E. Hill Jr., 1951. 
To claim that how we treat non-human beings both reveals our own character and partly constitutes it? In Contemporary Environmental Debates Another way of stating the deep shallow ecological distinction is via instrumental and intrinsic values. A being has intrinsic value if it is good in and of itself. Whereas its value is instrumental if its good is what it is good for. This theoretical point is important ethically in thought going back to Immanuel Kant, 17241804. Which distinguishes between categorical or absolute imperatives and hypothetical or instrumental ones. But whereas Kant thought that the only thing with intrinsic value is the goodwill of a rational creature, a human being, some environmentalists have extended intrinsic value to all living beings. What is Catherine McKinnon's argument against pornography? According to McKinnon, pornography not only exploits and objectifies those women who are its subjects, but it also expresses and supports the overall oppression of women in society. The subordinate status of women in pornography. As well as the violence against women depicted in so many of its forms, is part of an unjust sex gender system. What are the pitfalls and promises of experimental philosophy? In its degenerate forms, experimental philosophy could resemble philosophy by opinion poll. But that is not its goal or method. Rather, the view is that before relying on ordinary intuitions, philosophers should check what non-philosophers actually believe. That is, if philosophical theories depend on a certain view of intuitions, then philosophers should begin with the empirically accurate view. They should make sure that when they say the public thinks X, that the public does think X. The promise of philosophy is that experimental philosophy has the potential to make social and political philosophy more scientific. This does not deprive philosophers of the freedom to construct theories that explain why ordinary intuitions are incorrect. Insofar as they are complex judgments and not mere expressions of taste. Recent work in experimental philosophy includes, Joshua Nob and Sean Nichols. Experimental Philosophy, 2008, Joshua Nob, Intentional Action in Folk Psychology An Experimental Investigation, in Philosophical Psychology, 16, 2003, and K. Anthony Appiah, Experiments in Ethics, 2008 Critical responses to experimental philosophy include, Ernest Sosa. Experimental philosophy and philosophical intuition, in philosophical studies. 132, 2006, Kirk Ludwig, The Epistemology of Thought Experiments, 1st vs. 3rd Person Approaches, in Midwest Studies in Philosophy, 31, 2007, and Antikopinen. The Rise and Fall of Experimental Philosophy, in Philosophical Explorations, 10, 2007.
who has claimed that animals have rights. Tom Reagan, 1938, has based a deontological doctrine of the wrongness of killing innocents, including animals, on the premise that they have intrinsic or inherent worth. It follows from this that humans have an obligation not to harm animals, or at least some of them. For recreation, food, or experimentation. Paul W. Taylor, 1923, has extended Regan's view in claiming that every living thing, from a germ to an elephant, has a teleological center of life that is worthy of moral respect. Who are some key feminist philosophers of science? Sandra Harding, 1935 addresses questions of whether women have privileged ways of knowing. In Third World, as well as Euro-American societies, whether the exclusion of women from science can be corrected within science. And whether scientific knowledge is itself misogynistic. Who is Julia Kristeva? Since arriving in France in 1966 from Bulgaria, Julia Kristeva, 1941, has achieved international recognition for her writings about women in the psychoanalytic tradition. Her work is considered multidisciplinary, encompassing art criticism, philosophy, and cultural critique. Christopher's primary theoretical contribution has been a distinction between the symbolic aspects of language and what she calls the semiotic. A psychic level of meaning based on a child's relationship to its mother. Primary human desires are attached to the semiotic, which is based on the biological rhythms of the maternal body. Although the semiotic eludes symbolic translation. What is a mim? In The Selfish Gene, 1976, British evolutionary biologist, professor, and author Richard Dawkins coined the term as being on a PAR with gene. A meme for instance, a tune, recipe, moral system, or style of dress gets passed on from one generation to the next via cultural interaction. Although memes are not usually held to be physically inherited the way that genes are. Social biologists believe them to be subject to natural selection and mutation. Who was George Simmel? George Simmel, 1858-1918, was a philosopher and early sociologist. He was born in Berlin and lived most of his life there. Simmel wrote about a wide range of subjects, including ethics, philosophy of history, education, religion, art, and money. His writing style was digressive rather than tightly analytic. 
as was expected in German philosophy at that time. Overall, as a Lebensphilosoph, or philosopher of life. Simmel saw life as more than itself in other words, more than the human biological organism and its processes because it was productive, particularly in cultural creativity. Perhaps Simmel's most distinctive work was his Philosophy of Money, 1900. A subject that few philosophers have directly addressed, then or since. He also wrote about fashion. What were Averro's most noteworthy ideas? Overall, Averroes, c. 1126 c. 1198, Aristotelian views were shaped by Platonic ideas, partly because he mistakenly believed that the whole of ancient Greek thought was one unified system that had been composed cooperatively. He also believed that, according to Aristotle, all of the sciences could be studied with the same meaning of being. Whereas Aristotle had insisted that the sciences were diverse and their subject matter inherently different. Averroes viewed all of nature as one harmonious order. On the subject of immortality, this holism was related to his idea that individual souls are not distinguished from one another after death, but combine into one form. Averroes also interpreted Aristotle as claiming that earth was eternal which was against Christian doctrine of the creation. In On the Harmony Between Religion and Philosophy, Averroes tried to show that the same truth can be reached through different means, dialectic in law. Philosophy for those skilled in the use of pure reason, and rhetoric for those with only a general education. What is the connection between philosophy of mind and philosophy of language in analytic philosophy? Their development has been intertwined since the end of the behaviorist explanation of language learning. The new field of cognitive science, which arose from Noam Chomsky's, 1929. Philosophical treatment of linguistics that disproved behaviorism, shows how philosophy of language is connected to philosophy of mind. When Chomsky proved that language learning required innate linguistic capacities, the whole tabula rasa or blank slate theory of mind came tumbling down. What have been the major trends in Latin American philosophy? Many commentators identify four periods in the 500-year history of philosophy in Latin America. Colonial, independentist, positivist, and contemporary. Overall, Latin American philosophers have been actively involved in political and social events in their countries, they have not, until very recently, incorporated indigenous worldviews into their intellectual perspectives. The colonial period, 1550 to 1750, was characterized by interest in medieval scholastic philosophy. 
such as the work of Thomas Aquinas, c. 1225 to 1274, and Francisco Suarez, 1548 to 1617. During this time, Mexico and Peru were important in intellectual life and the influence of Spain dominated. The Royal and Pontifical University of Mexico, founded in 1553, was where Alonso de la Vera Cruz. 1504-1584, Tomás de Mercado, 1530-1575, and Antonio Rubio, 1548-1615, flourished. Antonio Rubio's Mexican Logic, 1605, was a celebrated textbook on Aristotelian logic throughout Europe. Bartolomé de las Casas, 1474-1566, in defense of the Indians is still widely read. During the independentist philosophical period, 1750-1850, intellectual interest was focused on political issues. Although European rationalism, empiricism, and ethics were also taken up. The Positivist Period, 1850-1910 Embraced European positivism and had local social and political applications. It was assumed by many, after independence, that positivist philosophy backed up by social science, would usher in order and progress. Juan Bautista Alberti, 1812-1884, in his idea, 1842, sought to modify European positivism to the specific circumstances of Latin America. What was Rosicrucianism? Rosicrucianism was the practice of the secret Christian Rosicrucian order, which was dedicated to helping mankind develop spiritually. The practices of the Rosicrucians were not published or otherwise known to the general public but they were believed to involve ancient Neoplatonic knowledge, alchemy, and ways to cure the sick. Some believe it began after Dante de Gliolaiuri, c. 1265 1265-1321, wrote the Divine Comedy in the early 1300s. Others locate its beginnings within a group of German Protestants in the early 1600s. Three documents circulated throughout Europe in the 15th century to promote what the Rosicrucians called the Universal Reformation of Mankind, Fama Fraternitatis Rosicrucis. Confessio Fraternitatis, and Chymical Wedding of Christian Rosenkreutz Anno 1459. 